Check out this incredible three hour transformation. On the left you see the rough, pothole ridden road I started with, and on the right witness the smooth reclaimed surface after using this grading scraper on my Kubota B2320. Okay, let's get started. Uh, for these first uh, passes, I'm in the grass. I'm reclaiming the material that's in the grass. This thing works really good at uh, ripping out the grass with the ripper teeth and then also cutting it up with the um, grater blades. Uh, and since this stuff kind of rolls over in front of the blades, it kind of gets chopped up really well. You don't get a lot of big clumps of uh, grass and, and dirt at the end. Um, so, like I say, these first passes, I'm mainly just trying to reclaim. I have the um, implement set so that the camera side that you can see right now, the, the side toward the center of the road, is about an inch higher if I lift up at it at all. You can kind of see in the video it's 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 barely touching um, it has a little bit of pressure down I don't have down pressure on the three-point but just the weight of it and being fully down on the setting um, it's touching some but uh, it's actually set to be an inch higher than the right side so that way the material is being moved toward the center of the road more easily and it's also digging out on the right more. So other than that it's pretty straightforward. Um, keep doing passes. Um, I try to move over slightly and not hit the exact same spot because I want the ripper teeth to hit in a different spot to tear up the grass better um, on each subsequent path. By the end of this, I get a ton of material. This is about a 900 foot long section I'm doing. So I'm not getting a whole lot of uh, material in the, um, the grader uh, these first passes because it is plugging up with that grass and whatnot but once I get that grass mainly ripped up then I'll start really filling it up so like the fifth pass in or so you'll see and I'll, I'll uh, have uh, markings on the video so you can skip ahead to that if you'd like I really love watching it fill the potholes, even in these beginning passes. Now, th this uh, view, you can really see how it's tearing up that grass real nice, and how the material's kind of uh, rolling somewhat in there. So it rolls um, across those um, grater blades and gets cut up. Kind of think of it like a almost like a cheese grater going. Especially when there's less grass. These beginning ones, the first passes, you'll have some big clumps, but then once there's less material that it's working with, it, it cuts it up even better. Anyhow, I don't think I have a whole lot more to say. Probably start some music, uh if I haven't already, so I thought about speeding up the video, but I decided not to. I also thought about taking out the tractor noises, but I figured you'd like to hear um, if it's bogging or whatnot. Oh, I'm running in low speed these first passes, but then I went into mid-range uh, later on, and I could get away with mid-range pretty much all the time, really, once I figured it out more, because you can feather up the um, the grater a little bit so you're not digging as much and you're releasing more material or like I did a lot of the time is I just uh, stopped and downshifted in the low range I'm in four-wheel drive too um, 
So you can pull quite a substantial amount while in low range, but it's slow going, so mid range can go quite a bit faster if you don't have that much material load. Also, as I figured out later on in the video, um, using this more, and I'll have another video doing my driveway, um, like I said about uh, feathering up the unit, you can listen to the engine and hear it start bogging, you can start feathering up to, letting, uh, to let out more material and not pull it with you as much. Just depends on what you're doing and what to accomplish. So you can see that's it's only the second pass and look how much material is already there. It's crazy. Yeah, stop talking. Music time.
say this will be the last pass on the video. Uh, I ran out of space on the card. Uh, these uh, 360 cameras take up a lot of room. Um, I ordered <laughs> a bigger memory card. I only had a 64 gig in this and yeah, I need a lot more. So anyhow, like I said, unfortunately this is the last pass. But right after this pass, um, I'm going to walk the road and show you what the finished product was. So, yeah, enjoy. I used the new Land Pride uh, box grader. Uh, started yesterday. I did about three hours. I did that driveway down there, down to that driveway, and it was kind of a learning process. So this probably isn't as good as what I did today, but it's a lot better than what it was. Also, I finished up at like nine this morning. I started at no, I ended at ten. I started at seven, so I got like three hours. Um, and it rained, so there's a lot of material in this that is not great gravel and whatnot, and not sand. It's got mud and stuff in it, basically. Meatloaf, come on! Because I was uh, pulling the shoulders in, getting rid of the shoulders, so we're going right to the ditch more, you know, because basically the shoulders were higher than the roadbed. Yeah, this is all the stuff I got from the shoulders, basically. And some of the gravel and stuff, too. It's all mixed together, of course. But that's how much I gained. Basically, this was all potholes. Um, it was really bad. You'll kind of see in, in the video, in the far end, that I did today. So, but yeah, I was learning. Um, that site's pretty soft although it's not bad now but it's still there's not a lot of gravel in this part of it milo come here come here bob so yeah this center area there was a few real bad um potholes soft spots that one, that's one of them too it's still i'm gonna have to add some more material there but I'm waiting for it to dry out a little bit better. Um, again, that was still yesterday's stuff. Today I started from just past this driveway and I went to the end. And again, the grass came out a good four feet-ish. You know, to right about here, right around there. If you watch the video to the end, you'll see. And this was really potholy. You can see now on that edge, the road bed goes right to the edge, pretty much as close as I could get feeling safe. Uh, 
the box blade is a 60 inch on my B series. It hangs out maybe six to 10 inches past the side of the tractor. And since the shoulders can be soft, I don't want to get too, too close, especially on that side where it's quite a drop off. You can see I've gotten rid of the majority of all the potholes. Got a few spots that are that I missed. Looks like I'll have to add a little material. You know, as it gets packed. But this is this is a thousand percent better than what it was. We also might get a few loads and run it right down the center. Just to build up the center a little bit more. It looks fairly flat to me, even though I tried moving it into the center. I had the box blade angled slightly, so the shoulder side would dig more. And even at points, if you watch in the video, um, you can see the, the crown side is maybe an inch off the ground at points. So more material is being deposited toward the center of the road, the crown of the road thus creating a slope to the edge better. It's a process, you know. This was really bad. It was hard to drive on. You couldn't go, you had to zigzag all around all the dang potholes and everything. That was kind of a pain. So now, as you can see, tire tracks are straight. People are just driving straight in. So for, you know, six hours work, which at least an hour or two is just learning you know, learning how to set the blade, you know, angles and whatnot, and just how to use it. Because um, I figure out after a while, once you get uh, too much on, you can just feather it up a little bit, and that helps uh, spread it slightly. It's kind of a feeling thing slash uh, sound. But yeah, that looks, man, it looks fantastic compared to what it did. Take a walk back the other way after I grab the mail. I will work the edges more later once it dries out again. So I want to get rid of more of this grass that's still poking through in that. And I might spread some of my spoils that are been pretty good, you know, a lot of, a lot of gravel in them, in, in any low spots I can see. It's, it's hard to see them, kind of, when everything's all wet, at least for me, anyhow. But it's all pretty solid now. I don't see any really bad standing water. We got like a quarter to a half inch today so far. So since I finished this. That seems right now the worst wet spot right there. And then I can see it's low right here. Could definitely use a few buckets full here. That's going to be a puddle maybe. I went to the edge. I 
and I had the teeth just set barely below the blades so they weren't doing a whole lot could probably get a lot more aggressive if you wanted to but didn't seem to need to so makes me think you could go with a box blade without teeth but I don't know you could see them doing work in the grass that's for sure anyhow um, I think that's it uh, I would definitely recommend a box grader that is a best thing I've ever used I've used a six-way blade uh, a regular box blade of course bucket different bucket attachments this has been the easiest quickest thing to just smooth out the road fill potholes possibly build a peak this is a wide road you gotta understand this is this is 25 foot wide at least um from side to side so it's not the easiest thing to do it's wider than standard when you figure in the shoulders so yeah anyhow have a good one